Testing, testing, a two, one, two. We're about to be live. What you gonna do? <laughs> All right. Just testing though, for real, for real. What is up? What's up? How's it going? All right, about to hop in the live on YouTube. Yo, 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 what is up, Mia? We're about to get started here soon. No worries, no worries. Um, yeah, it's fun just to, you know, pop in and, and say hey, so thanks for dropping in. Uh, so, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, thanks for stopping in. Um... We got some promotional artwork to work on today and some other things. Um, actually, mainly and mostly promotional artwork. And we're just going to have a little bit of fun with it. So I'm going to turn this down and jump into my live scene, hopefully. Uh, looks like Looks like we got some issues already. Audio is looking good, but visuals, not quite. Not sure what's going on here. I'm gonna see if I can maybe reset it. All right, how about that? Oh, that's really that's really cool. Um, the artist that you used for the song, um, was it? Um, how, how should I say this? It was it like a local artist? Um, was it someone uh, bigger? Did you let them know that you're using their music? Because I have um, reached out to a couple of people myself, uh, music that I enjoy listening to, and um, oftentimes they'll let, they'll give me permission to use their music, and I like shouting them out. So. That's, that's really cool that they actually came through and actually said something though. So that's cool, it's cool, it's cool. All right, this is a multiply layer. That's interesting. There must be another multiply layer that I'm not seeing. Or maybe I didn't use a multiply layer. Maybe I was just... No, that doesn't make sense. It has to be a multiply layer. Supposed to be the base, and this is the mask. It is. It's normal though. That's interesting. Okay. Anyways, so when I'm looking at this piece, I'm um, coming here and just kind of. I'm not quite yet at the cleanup stage, as you can tell. There's a lot for the cleanup. Um, this is everything has been roughed in um, really quickly, um, and so uh, I may work on the the clean art a little bit as well today, but. There, there was a couple things that I was, that were jumping out at me that I wasn't satisfied with, so I didn't want to go to the cleanup stage. And I'm just gonna go ahead and point those things out um, really quickly so you guys know what the goal is to work on for this piece specifically. And then, um, yeah, we're gonna move on um, from there. Uh, so, okay, so I'm gonna write these things down uh, as I list them out. So the number one thing that I see is that I think the uh, skin tone is a little bit too much on the red side. So I'm going to mute that out just a little bit. I also think that the vehicle that I designed in the foreground doesn't have enough value in it, meaning that it's too light. 
Um, it should be a little bit darker since it's in the foreground, so that's something else that I'm going to be messing around with. And um, this is something that's really important about like stepping away from your art. Uh, so I think I worked on this piece in a previous stream. And uh, now that I probably had like a week away from it, coming back to it, there are some things that I'm like, yeah, that's not working too well. I want to add some more here and there. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, it's it's going to be another rough pass because I need to let it sit again after I do this and then compare the before and after edits. And that's why it can be kind of nice to be working on multiple pieces at once because you can kind of hop from one piece to the next while you give your eye a break from one. So that's just a heads up for you guys that are creating like prom promotional art for your stories and your comics. That can be something that's really useful. Okay, another thing that I see as I'm looking at this um, is the hair. The hair needs to be uh, darker. and more of a dark brown instead of like a light brown. Okay, another thing that I see is that the um, stadium or like, I guess the stand where the audience is sitting, I need to add in a little bit more uh, depth there as well. I need to add in some more shading. So we're gonna do that as well. Uh, like I said, I, d I don't reach out, I just give credit in the description. Nice, that's always important. I'm making a special belated Valentine's Day drawing for my channel since I was too busy yesterday. Uh, yeah, I've, I'm not very good at following the trends or anything like that, so... Uh, I haven't done a Valentine specific piece, but there's been so many times where I want to. Um, and get a little bit better at... Uh, you know what's either like trending or whatever the holiday is it has something prepared i want to get better at that but haven't quite figured out um the best way to kind of go about that okay so let me make some posts real quick on both my instagram and my twitter just to let people know that i'm streaming if they want to stop by and draw along um and i'll also drop it in a discord server Hey, welcome back, man. Yeah, I was just responding to your comment. Um, I think that's really cool um, that that person uh, left a comment and also like giving credit in the description is always important, so that's really cool. And um, I was saying props for um, following through with a what's the like an event that's time like Valentine's Day is like it comes and then it's gone. So um, getting to it, that's pretty cool. I'm not very good at that. I wish I could be better, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, so anyways, I am posting real quick to my social media that I'm streaming so people can come and watch if they would like to draw along, chat, you know. Okay, so I made a post on the Discord, just made a post on my Twitter, and now let's make a post on my Instagram.
Okay, and then I'm gonna add in a YouTube sticker so people know it's on YouTube. This version and then we will add in our link as well um, <clears throat> let's use the clipboard for that yep done okay and then what I like to do is I like to also add in a little hand pointing emoji so people know where to click This, this is good. Very good, very good. Okay, and we'll add some music as well. Okay, I'm adding too much to this. But might as well do it right. Okay. We have done our posts and let's go ahead and jump back into this. Yo, what is up, Kage? How's it going? Uh, I've been a little bit out of the loop. I was not around to chat on Monday, but hopefully as everything's going well. Um, and yeah, how are you doing tonight? What kind of stuff are you working on? And uh, see you later, Mayup. Thanks for dropping in as per usual. You, I gotta say, like, I, I, I swear I have my stream going for about like a minute or two minutes and you're already in. So you either got notifications or something, but thanks so much for um, dropping in as per usual. Okay. So for the people that are coming in, what I'm working on today is some promotional artwork. Um, I've made a list of the things that I want to improve on this piece. I've been sitting on it for about a week and there's some things now that I feel I can, I can improve upon. Um, so, let's see what we can kind of do here. I don't know if I should make a duplicate file or a duplicate layer and I think I'm gonna do duplicate layer so let's try this out so we're gonna duplicate <clears throat> all of my colors my color layer because what we're gonna do is we're kind of going to kind of do a paint on top but kind of not at the same time all right so we're coming in here um, we're getting to our base layer We'll keep that multiply on for now. Um, and we'll come into our base layer here and select, we're gonna go into select color gamut. This is something that I just learned from a friend. Um, <clears throat> and basically this is kind of a way to keep all the colors on like one layer, but still be able to kind of come in and select. Um, <clears throat> and if you use Clip Studio Paint, just go in and hit that select button and click color gamut and then click that paint color that you used okay so there's two things I want to change here I do want to bring it down in luminosity okay so that's the first thing and I do want to shift the hue so that's not as red yeah so I want to shift it up just a little bit though, not too much. Maybe to like a three and I want to bring down the saturation a bit. Not a ton again. But again, we're going to keep on messing with that and keep on editing that just a little bit at a time for right now. And then what we're going to do is deselect select that color gamut again but yeah let me know how you guys are um how you guys are doing tonight i'm gonna try to kind of just get into the flow of things 
uh, first and foremost. Hopefully have some fun with this piece. Alright, I'm also going to try something with like making the line work way, way more bold. I just kind of want to see what we can do with that. Oh no, dang, that is, that is a small turnout. I hope everyone's doing okay. I I wish I came through then. I was just kind of busy and overwhelmed. Um, and by the time I remembered, uh, it was already kind of late, so I just decided not to not to show up. But yeah, hopefully um, things are on the up and up. <clears throat> um, I'm doing all right though. Got a new setup to record and stream, so super excited. Yo, that is that's what's up. I I mean, you already know this, but I was really excited when I got this new PC to start streaming because I just wanted to up the quality and it makes it makes it exciting to kind of get back into um, you know the art, of course. Um, so yeah, hopefully it is fun kind of getting back into it, and of course, um, let me know when that stream is happening. Um, I'll try to keep a look an eye out for you know social medias and stuff to try to see when but um even if you just ping me um definitely trying to come through more and support more um yeah, you guys are going to be seeing a lot more of me um, here in the near future. At least that's the, at least that's the plan. Um, there's some things that I uh, can't talk about just yet, but um, listen, I'm so excited to um, be getting into uh, like completing some artwork and stuff. And um, yeah, I just want to say there's definitely some excited things. Um, I got lined up for the future and I just can't wait so what kind of stuff did you get for um, the setup if you're still here uh, Kage, uh, is it new cameras or did you do new overlays what kind of stuff did you got going on
not I'm not completely sold on the color of this briefcase. Um, that's something that I'll probably be messing around with as well. But it's a start. It's a start. Also, did did I miss um, the end of the the manga competition? I don't remember the results ever being announced. So I'm I'm imagining that I just missed it because I've been kind of MIA, but Yeah, what kinda happened there? No need to apologize, everyone will join when they can. Uh, I needed a new tripod thingy, the, the ring light wasn't working out and had limited range. Okay, got you. So, um, so the, the tripod is, is connected to the ring light, that makes sense, that makes sense. So did you have to replace both? Sounds like you had to replace both, yeah. Okay, well, yeah, hopefully the visuals will be looking crispy. That's very exciting. So for this, I want to go a little bit darker brown and a little bit more muted. So we're going to go in somewhere like this probably and see how this kind of plays out for me. Yeah, there we go. I'm liking that better. So we're going to kind of stick with that. Um, I need to just change out my brushes a little bit. Yep. Yep, solid, solid, solid. I may have to actually add in a little bit more of 
Yeah, we'll get to that here in a second. I think we have, yep, it's right here. Yeah, we got the overlay there, but there's, yeah, it's right here. This is where we need to erase. Okay, perfect. I think already it's looking better than when we started. And um, this is why I duplicate the layers because I just wanted to show you guys real quick. I can quickly kind of see uh, the changes as we're moving on. All right. So that's looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and put back this multiply layer. So we get, yeah. There you go. I feel like I fixed the tone of the face quite a bit. So that's looking good. And we're gonna come back in and actually, change his hair back out. So let's see here. Actually, hmm. not sure that's not working. <laughs> All right, so let's add. This shade back into the hair. I know what we need to do. We just need to paint over. I don't know why it's not letting me paint over though. Strange. Oh, because it's on this layer. Okay. Sorry. I goofed that. I goofed that. Okay. Okay, so what I need to do. I see what the issue is, but it's fine though. Or it should be at least. Uh, I may, I may have messed something else up as well. Good enough for now. Um, it's hard to explain what it is, but I'll drop you a pic of what it looks like. Uh, a little, basically, a, a more sturdy setup. You know, that's one of the hardest things to try to figure out. Um, where you're just like mounting things, where you mount things, because like my table is so unsturdy that when I was trying to uh, record some video even honestly when I'm recording audio it's like it can get so shaky um, and that's like something that I'm still kind of working out a little bit um, but yeah so hopefully that that new tripod works out for you um, no no judges are uh, going through stuff so we just waiting um, okay cool 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 I'm glad I didn't miss that I want to be there for that um, when I said everyone going through it, I meant everyone. <laughs> well, it sounds like it, so I'm going to have to get the, um, get what's going on when I, um, get back into it. Maybe next, next Monday, see what's kind of happening. Possible. How am I drawing on a layer that's not even selected? Yo, Clip Studio is is 
bugging right now. I do not know what's going on. All right, anyways, let's zoom up to these eyebrows. Apparently, this is on a whole new layer. So he's gonna fill in those. All right. Nothing, nothing fancy, nothing fancy. Um, let's fill in these eyes a little bit too. Okay. I'm liking it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Um, I want to see if this. Okay. This is looking. red needs to be a little bit more muted how oh because I'm on a racer that's why okay looking good we are looking good I'm excited I'm excited all right so let's go ahead and just kind of check out the edits we have so far okay now I know that doesn't look like too much but the changes they're there all right Oh, no, 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 no. See, this is what we're not going to do this time. And actually, hey, hey, um, since last time, since last time, layer-wise, um, I did simplify all my um, base colors for this character into one, and then all the shadows into just one. Um, but then I did kind of go crazy a little bit because... I was adding in some extra effects here and there, and I was testing things out, you know, I was testing things out. I had to see how it was looking, okay, so, I don't know. <clears throat> we'll simplify the layers once we actually feel confident about this piece, which, the confidence is slowly, it, it's coming, it's building, I'm liking it more and more as I continue to refine. Okay, now let's look at the list that I said that I had created um, for the different areas I kind of wanted to work on. Okay, so number one thing I said, skin tone is too red and I fixed that. Vehicle in the foreground is too light and needs to be darker. So what I'm gonna do just to kind of mess around with that is I'm gonna create a multiply layer and I do this um, quite a bit. Uh, just as a pass to kind of get the color down. And I'll probably turn this into flats and then just do like a complete paint over type of thing. So anyways, we're going to set this to multiply, and before I make that a final thing, I don't know, I might be able to, hmm, that's strange. Let's first just try multi um, messing with this layer, and what we're going to do is we're just going to, yeah, turn down the luminosity like that. What y'all think? So that's negative 23. That's better than what it was before. 
we need it we need this to sit further in the foreground okay and that makes the light shine a lot more too so I'm liking that it's helping this character pop off the screen as well so we just need to be careful with about how much value we have in here I just do this stuff by feel as you all can probably tell Mm -hmm. Somewhere around here, I think it's looking looking good. Okay, so we are going to lock that in. <clears throat> Again, we created a whole new folder for these edits so we can get a quick look at the changes we're making. We're gonna come back to this layer. We're gonna grab some color here and we're gonna make it brighter and brighter like this, okay? But anyways, what's up there? How are things going? I heard people were kind of going through it. Hopefully art shows and uh, things that you had going on um, in the weeks were going pretty well. That started means it's double the amount from last time. Well, I mean, <laughs> I literally duplicated the layer, so I mean, you're not wrong. And yeah, I got to test how powerful my computer is. You know, can it, can it keep up with me? And you know, we're gonna kind of go in on the metal effects when we like um, get into it a little bit more. But for now, we're just gonna keep it pretty, pretty simple. Okay. That's good enough for now. Again, we want to make these edits as quick as possible and then jump into new pieces so that way we can really get a feeling for what's going on here. Okay, so we also darken the hair and add more of a dark brown shading. Now what we want to do is work on the uh, background stadium a little bit. And y'all, you know what? I might take this into Photoshop and kind of mess, mess around with some filters a little bit. I may. I don't know. We'll see how we feel about it. Um, but that, that's not going to be until later. So we can come back into this layer now. We want to add some more darkness in this area. Basically, when I dar go darker with the shading, I also typically like to go cooler. Uh, that's just something that I do. I don't know about you guys. Um, but that's a method I've been using for a minute and, uh, I've been, I've been, I like that. <clears throat> so.
Uh, I don't know what I want to do with this like TV screen thing going on right here. Ideas are welcome. I don't know if I should draw an image or leave it kind of blank like this. I kind of like that. I kind of like that a little bit lighter. And then what we can do is, I don't know how good this is gonna look, but we can add some like uh, static maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about that. Anyways, we're just testing things out a little bit though. some black wires uh, coming from here let's make those thicker at least one of them Excuse me. Okay. Oh, place my own art on the screen. That is, that's a good idea. Uh, I don't know which art art to choose. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about that though. Uh, okay, let's see. Drawn on layers that don't even exist. Yeah, that was weird. Um, testing out how many layers you can use. Da 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 da. Uh, everything's been pretty good. Finally back to drawing drawing and the art show comes down uh, today and tomorrow So does that mean you're at the art show today and tomorrow and then it's over? Um, thank you. Thank you. Uh, take your own art place in in it as if it's on the screen. Cool. Yeah, I saw that um, cool. Yeah, getting back to drawing is like one of the best feelings ever. Um, just getting back into the flow, getting back into the zone. Um, I've been like kind of on and off with the drawing, I guess. Um, like I have been working on um, studying up on like anatomy, that kind of thing. Um, but not too much in like actually creating illustration. So I'm feeling not only a little bit rusty, but trying to just like remember the tools and stuff again. Oh, okay, got you. So they're doing the tear down. Okay. Okay, so everyone, okay, that makes sense.
Hmm. Okay. So, I think I'm at the point again where, um... I'm not entirely sure what I want to do next in terms of like with the colors. So I think I might give myself like a pause on this piece and move on to something else. Because I feel like if I spend more time on this, I may not actually end up really improving much more because I don't necessarily kind of know what's off at this point. There are some things that still feel a little uh, funny color wise, but I think I'm going to come in and probably tackle that later. If you guys have any things that you've spotted or seen that may um, kind of elevate this, let me know. But yeah, I think I'm going to um, let this piece sit again for a little bit. I have some time before I need to make prints of this stuff. So I can um, take my time, <clears throat> excuse me, editing. Um, and adding in uh, detail and stuff so truly right now I'm just um, experimenting and working through it a little bit at a time been taking some time to kind of chill a little bit um i've been watching some in in you washa in you yasha <clears throat> saturday we had an artist panel so we talked to the audience about our work and creative experience oh that sounds cool um any recordings any recordings from that um, then all the artists went to go hang out at a bar, start talking about being typecast as the, race, as the racism art, and a bunch of people started gravitating towards me. Oh, dang. So what do you kind of, um, what do you mean by that, being like typecast as, a, as the racism artist? Uh, does that mean like, um, you know, you're kind of singled out as like someone that's like pointing, pointing that out, you know, <laughs> pointing out the racism. But also, yeah, definitely congrats on their art show. Um, that sounds um, like it was a pretty good experience overall. Uh, would you... Um, go back to that to that show specifically I think it was a good one to check out Gracias, and yeah, and yeah, it was. I do it again. I think the reason folks gravitated was because other black artists could relate. Yeah. Yep. That makes sense.
the racism thing was because companies would uh, hit me up to do art related uh, to racism even though that's not my primary topic <sighs> yeah I feel like um, you know <laughs> being black like people just expect you to like always either have thoughts on like racism or like like you're the go-to um Also, I do apologize for just like pausing talking like <laughs> sometimes I just um, get absorbed in, in working on the art um, I want to get better with my streams about like providing com commentary the entire time um, yeah something I'm still kind of working towards a little bit so and I like adding in this yellow here, kind of showing like the sun, you know, interacting. I think that's kind of a cool effect. Um, yeah. My friends, my friends. Let's see here. All right, let's kind of take a look at some of these changes. First of all, color-wise, this is how we've changed things up. I feel like we've added a lot more depth. I think we made some good corrections here. What do y'all think? So this is before, this is after. Before, after before and after I think we added a lot of depth into the piece um, corrected some funky colors I think the vehicle is looking much better now so and then also don't forget that we also added in a nice thick outline as well which I think is really helping helping out here so this is what it was like before and our after all right so i'm kind of liking that we're gonna go ahead and um i just want to see what this looks like uh taking out this uh, outline just real quick and then we'll put that back in as well okay Ooh, yes, you see the upgrade perfect 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 just what I like to hear I am trying my best over here just
adding in as much as I can to make this piece read better, right? Yeah, go ahead, Thera, go ahead. I um, can see that um, this piece can probably have a lot more going for it. So I am all for the suggestions. This is kind of like evening setting, and I have some of those vibes down. Can I make this full screen? Let's see, view. Let's see, fit to screen, reset display, fit to navigator. How do I do like a full screen kind of thing? View, select, edit. I know how to do it in Photoshop, but I'm not familiar enough with Clip Studio Paint. Am I... Maybe I'm blind. And it gives me some more real estate. It's kind of hard to show all of it. Maybe try lowering the saturation of the background. You can try it when everything is done, but I think that'll help with the separation of the foreground and background you're looking for. Ooh, I see what you're saying. You saying the background looking too juicy. The background is popping too much. Okay, I got it, I got it. Yeah, no, 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 what you're saying, um, I think is absolutely correct, and, um, oh, I was having so much trouble with doing this, but, um, <gasps> excuse me, um, at the beginning of this, I was like, I want to make the foreground a little bit darker, um, I did that with the vehicle, and maybe I, I, I need to do that with the character more as well, I was thinking that he might have some, like, front lighting as well um, from like a light some light source but I don't think I've quite nailed down the lighting scheme so let's try this out let's try the desaturation thing so what we're gonna do to test this out that we are going to duplicate these layers and then oh I don't like how that did that okay but anyways we're gonna merge them down so this maybe should be okay merge selected layers okay great 
Okay. Now. Let's try bringing down the saturation. Oh, wow. I think that already did it. <laughs> okay, well, hold on a sec. We're going to click OK for that for now. I kind of already like that improvement. Okay, let's let's do this again. Let's try making some more edits. So we're gonna duplicate layer, and then we're gonna merge of the selected layers. Okay, and let's Yeah, sometimes they get lost in color a bit. Okay. Yeah, I'm telling you, the, the slight adjustments are like that's why like I, I do want to um, get back into a traditional a lot but like the this power of slight adjustments <clears throat> without having to repaint everything I'm telling you like I don't know I feel like this helps me understand color a little bit more being able to play with color so much or maybe it's probably a bad thing like honestly I should just you know make a piece and then make another piece but whew, I don't know if I have time for all that um, so anyways uh, just slight adjustments right here what happens when I boost up the saturation I like going to the extremes just to see you already know I like high saturation this looks bad but also I don't know how it comes across on your guys screen but I also really like saturated colors anyways we're not going to do that for this time. We're going to bump it down. And we're going to try two things. What does it look like when it's darker? What does it look like when it's like way lighter? Hopefully this is kind of fun to see in real time. I still feel like I do like these edits, but um there's something to this piece that I'm that I'm not satisfied with yet, uh, and I can't I can't put my finger on it. But yeah, I do like this increased separation from foreground to background. That's good for sure. I think I might make it just a little bit more subtle. All right, so let's take a look at the before and after, after the saves real quick. Uh, Kage says, I think I gravitate to more saturation, more saturation as well. Yeah, I just, I uh, really like vibrancy, but you know, to that point, sometimes you need like the mute, muted colors to really bring out when colors are really popping off of the page. Um, but yeah, I agree. I just, I like bright colors. Okay, so here's before, after, before, after. That's really slight. And then this one's a little bit more, I think. So this is after, before, after.
I'm gonna have to sit with this a little bit more, but yeah, I do think there's a lot of merit in making those slight changes so thanks for that suggestion I think we're gonna just keep that for now hmm okay some things that are standing out at me right now is the tool belt I think needs to be a darker color something like that more textured with that brown it also was the gloves are matching his skin too much so I either need to change to like black gloves or maybe turquoise gloves um, something to help that stand out and then the toolbox as well I, I feel like I need to change the color of the toolbox um, that's something I'm gonna think about Okay, well, I think at this point in time, I'm just going to do some, like, cool downs, if that's cool with you guys. Um, I'm just going to do some, like, pose maniacs or something like that. Uh, we do, like, a little draw-along session, I guess. Um, just to, yeah, cool down. Cool down for the night. Hmm. Yeah, when I get to this stage of a piece, I don't know about you guys, but it's like I start moving so slow. <laughs> I start moving incredibly slow. Every decision becomes harder to make. And you're constantly like going back and forth. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to start kind of like locking in. Uh, some of these decisions but we're gonna let this piece sit we're gonna do some cool down drawings and we are going to call it we're going to call it a wrap for tonight so let's do some cool down drawings for like 15 minutes Let's let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. Let's see, let's see, is it freestyle time tonight? We're shining, we're bright, we're not the smartest, but we're the artists of the world, making change, make the future go around. We're gonna spin, 
like a merry-go-round. We keep it grounded. Don't be super surprised or astounded. Listen, we always glisten. Two things to know about me is that I write with the pen and I with the words and I float like a bird and I sting like a bee. Listen, how we be writing down little bees and syllabuses and syllab and little bees. Our little bees? I don't know. We're spitting bars. Take you to Mars. Like the Mars bar, snicker, snickerdoodle. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just spitting off the dome. Listen, put on the metronome and hear the beat. And hear the beat, yeah. Tick, 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 tick. We're making music. We're making things up from the top of a mind. Could I remind you? And where we find you? Could you be so kind? All right, we just transition, y'all. <laughs> we just, we just, we just chilling, and we just vibing. We be, be working on our timing, and now I ain't lying, ain't even really trying. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop messing around. Okay. Um. So we got that. We got that. Cool. 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 All right, you all ready for some life drawing? I think, I think you guys are. So we're gonna open up a new page. We are going to get some black ink. We are going to change to a, what do we wanna use? Let's use a pencil, maybe? Yeah, let's use a pencil, let's see. Yeah, let's use a pencil. Well. Yeah, we, we'll use a style pencil. All right, let's do this, let's do this. <laughs> next tape dropping soon. That's the next thing I'm working on. <clears throat> no, I'm just kidding. I, I would rather make the instrumentals than make the vocals. I like to do vocals for the fun of it just because like I like to be goofy, but I like making instrumentals. Okay, so we got that going. Um, let's let me do this so that I only have one tab open, so my computer runs faster. Uh, we'll do a new and private window, and we're gonna do pose maniacs. Also, I'm not opening my web browser because I know y'all gonna make fun of me for how many tabs I got open, and I do not have time for that. I do not have time for that. We we're, we're just focusing in on the drawing for now, okay? So let's start with some scribbles. We're gonna do 30 seconds and only just a couple of them. Well, we'll do 10 of them, why not? Because they're fast, right? Alright, so let's go ahead and remove that. Let me give myself a nice big old drawn space. Um bring this in as well so we don't need layers we do not all right here we go y'all um if you guys are joining in for this draw along life drawing session go ahead and grab your pencil because we are starting in five four three two and one like i said i'm not gonna be embarrassed on my stream a second time i know you guys are gonna come for my life like I am messy and unorganized. Um, and it's crazy though, because I have so many organization strategies, but like, it's so hard to, to stay organized. Like I just end up collecting so much information. Uh, I think I was telling y'all before, like I am an information hoarder. I don't have a lot of physical possessions, but like when it comes to information and stuff, like I collect inspiration and knowledge like it's nobody's business and it just gets a bit overwhelming for me, so. I'm sure some of y'all can relate. As an artist, it's like we're always looking for 
references, inspiration, all kinds of things. All right, guys, 30 seconds is not a lot of time, so you really got to just focus in on the gesture. Which, you know, you guys probably know that, but I'm the one that's struggling. Um, and remember to just stay loose with it. And um, I think I've said this before, but I do like to just use uh, one line and kind of just explore around the page a little bit with my pencil. So this is kind of an easy pose, to be honest. I, I should be able to finish this one, at least I hope so. But the angle is what's interesting for this one. So I am going to take note of that. like this pose okay so we get this swoop we get this swoop we get this swoop and we get this coming back in and this like this okay and um, one thing that I've been trying to get better at as I'm doing these gesture studies is like I like to try to pretend like I'm the one coming up with this pose and like how would I draw this if I didn't have this reference in front of me because that's essentially what I'm trying to get to be able to draw these things without having this reference in front of me so like Sometimes I pretend like, okay, how would I make this work? Um, these instrumentals are kind of nice, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I would freestyle a little bit more if I wasn't so focused on drawing. Let me just go ahead and save this song because, yep. Okay, sorry. I know you guys are trying to see the poses too, potentially. Well, for the people that are watching it afterwards, yeah, definitely, potentially. Because I, I really like to draw along with artists and try to figure out, like, how do they think about shapes and, and poses and um, how do they simplify it? you know so I just want to show you guys how I do it as hopes that you guys can you know learn a little bit from it okay that's enough with these types of drawings um, let's go ahead and bump up the time the time frame we just gonna restart that okay so that's pretty good. Let's um, switch to um, 60, 90. Six, uh, change to 180 seconds. And with this, now I'm gonna be um, take my time a little bit more and be a little bit more detailed, but still kind of remain at first with the... with the uh, gesture. But now we wanna try to add in a little bit of that anatomy as well.
All right, I think I'm gonna do one more, you guys. Um, all right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on a new layer for now, just so we have space and um, yeah. Um, I've been kind of finding out that I do like starting with the torso. Uh, the torso does give a lot of like <gasps> helpful info. That was kind of going down here. Speaking of torsos, I need to do my studies. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. I um, saw that post on Twitter. Working on torsos. Yes. Just when I feel like I have like a mastery of something, I do another pose and then I'm like, well, I've never drawn it from that angle before and then all my confidence just goes right out the window again but um, I really do feel like I'm getting a little bit better at just the shapes and construction like I feel more and more confident every time that I go to tackle these types of things which is good I like that feeling of improvement so
what kind of studies are you doing currently? Are you doing stuff like this? Are you working from a book? Are you doing anatomy studies, gesture studies? And don't feel pressured to respond at all. I'm just curious. All right, y'all. Let's see, where are we going? Uh, yeah, this Tom Fox Anatomy books feels like it was made for me. LOL, he explains it in a way I understand. Ooh, let me just kind of type this into my browser real quick. Tom Fox Anatomy. You know what? We probably talked about this before, but still. Tom Fox. Oh, yeah, he's breaking down the shapes and everything. Oh, hell yeah. This looks, uh, this looks incredibly useful. Uh, I guess anatomy studies. How to go from basic shapes to body and learning how they turn and rotate. Oh, yes. The most important part. I can draw what I see, but I still can't make stuff up in my head and produce it, at least beyond a basic shape. Um, yeah, I'm still kind of working at that myself, uh, that transition from, like, Okay, great. I can draw the stuff pretty well if I'm looking at a reference, but when I'm not, like, you know, still trying to develop those shapes and stuff, uh, it's like in the accurate anatomy. I'm starting to understand, like, the muscles and stuff, and that's what I'm kind of getting into now. So, like, even beyond basic shapes, like, how does it you know, deltoid, um, fit into the trapezius, into the triceps, biceps, and 
you know, I remember <laughs> like always tell, saying to myself like I would probably never learn the names, but like I'm naturally slowly starting to pick like up a few things. I am by no means very very good with the names yet, but like. Um, just kind of teaching it has also kind of like helped a little bit and like forcing myself to pick up more than I normally would. So anyways, let's go ahead and put the uh, pencil down for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me in, in working on some promotional art so much fun to work on and also to work on some um, anatomy and gesture drawing as well so let's take a look at what we did here pretty good pretty good so what I'm gonna do now is we're going to expand this canvas and kind of lay these out real quick All right, folks. Um, yeah, again, thank you so, so, so much for coming out and chilling with me, drawing with me. Um, this time always passes by so quick. Like, I always come into it thinking, like, I'm going to get so much art done. And I do. I guess I've learned. He did some anatomy studies, did some promotional artwork. But, um... Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up for now. Announcements, of course, my name is Mega, AKA The Art Messiah. I create videos of all manner covering how to draw manga and comics. So if you need to learn how to draw characters, poses, character designs, backgrounds, um, speech bubbles, flow whatever whatever the case is where to upload stuff to then this is the channel for you um so feel free to subscribe and kind of hang out um we do all kinds of artwork in these streams sometimes we're doing backgrounds sometimes we're doing characters sometimes we're doing promotional art sometimes we're doing some like design work so it's always a mixed bag it's always a lot of fun so um, you know, feel free to click that uh, bell for notifications. And until next time, my disciples, peace and love and deuces. Take care and have a great night. All right. See you guys. <laughs>